What's up guys, Aaron here, and this is 14 tips and tricks you should know about Terraria. Let's get started. Let's start with tip number one. When starting up a new world, go right to the very edge. Uh, you'll find an ocean biome here. What you want to do is uh, look underneath the water for... You'll normally get about two to three chests, and as you'll see, you'll get... Uh, just some some nice bits of loot in there. We'll get some potions sometimes, some weapons. Uh, remember, there is two beaches, so that means about roughly about six chests there. So that'll get you started. Tip number two: you can place torches on trees. How, I mean, how do how do people not know this? So, I mean, come on. Enough said. Tip number three, the shroomite digging floor is the fastest digging tool in the game, as compared to the pixel. This is because it scales off your attack speed. Tip number four, you can reset your wings while in flight if you grapple the floor. This is useful for getting around without actually having to touch the floor. So uh, you can stay mid uh, void enemies, and uh, who doesn't like infinite flying, am I right? Tip number five, you can only summon bosses that require it to be night time at 7.30pm. You can check the time by using a watch, GPS, or grandfather clock. Tip number six, you can change your clothes at a dresser. You can change your shirt, undershirt, pants, and boots. There's also a hair changer called the Stylist NPC, which is quite useful if you want to buy dyes. However, there isn't a face changer yet, but soon, maybe soon. Tip number seven, you can grow herbs in flower pots. Flower pots are made when you stand next to a furnace with clay in your inventory. Just plant the appropriate herb seed in the flower pot. In a couple of days, you'll have a herb. Useful for potions and uh, things alike that require herbs and stuff. Just go do that. Super useful, you'll need potions. Tip number eight, you can rename chests. Now I know what you're thinking. Aaron, why do I have to rename my chests? Well, when you get to the end game and you've got a million freaking items lying around, you're gonna want to rename your chests or something. Just go up to a chest, click rename, and name it what you want. It's super easy to do, takes no time at all, and you'll thank me in the end. Tip number nine, more of a trick than a tip. If you go up to an NPC on a special event, such as a holiday event or a blood moon, they'll be selling something. Well, not all of them, but some of them. Uh, like this gun salesman with the nurse's outfit. Kinda creepy. Tip number 10, piggy banks work as a portable chest. Just place one on the surface and take one down with you mining and you can just deposit stuff back up to the surface. Remember it's a global inventory, so any piggy bank in your world will have the same inventory whether you put stuff in or take it out. Tip number 11, you can create mini biomes. Just place a certain amount of blocks down, uh, the specific block type, and it should create uh, that biome. For example, if you were to put down a bunch of snow blocks, it would create a snow biome. For example, uh, what I've done here is put down a load of uh, mud, which is then grown into jungle grass, and I'm hoping to spawn the Plantera Bulb, which uh, I think I, yep, there we go. Plantera Bulb, this is an example of a boss farm, so you can copy that if you want. Tip number 12, meteorite bullets are extremely useful for finding floating islands. I recommend this if you want to find some good loot. Just get some meteorite bullets, get a gun that fires bullets, and just shoot them upwards until you find a floating island, like I did here. I mean, I already found it, but that's how you do it. Tip number 13, if you've got a dark cavern and uh, you don't have any glow sticks, unfortunately, because, you know, you've used them doing Terraria stuff. You can just grab your torch and then just throw it down there. Just just lob it. There you go. It's fallen. And as you can see, it likes the path, you can see what's below you, and you don't have to have those pesky falls where you lose all your gold and everything. But just remember that they do extinguish in water, and that will leave you in the dark. And finally, tip number 14, sunflowers will block off the corruption from growing. Remember, the corruption will only grow in hard mode, so just remember that. Also, it won't block off the hallow or the crimson, so just keep that in mind. 
Thanks guys for watching this video, a lot of effort went into it, it took a lot of my time. If you liked the video, just click that like button below, and if you want to subscribe, subscribe, why not? I might make some more of these, just put down in the comments what you want me to make and I, I might incorporate it into my next video. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.